Fisher with a puck in the offensive zone. Sent out to Louis' friend, who will try and corral this at his own blue line. Doc and Merrick pressuring. Louis sends it up to Caterman. It's by him, but sure, we get to stick on it, sending it around. With it now in the corner, he's looking for the centering pass and a block by Doc Emmerich. Oh, and Louis misses the rebound opportunity as he takes it back into his own zone, and that's the period. 3 2, Philadelphia. Does Knoxville only have three? Yeah. Alrighty. Well then. Face off. Then up high. Sure, we with it now. Skates it into the offensive zone. Dingle tries to dingle around one. Can't get by though. Flash with it now. Oh, and it is blocked away by Louis' friend. Who chases it into the ozone. Louis has a shot and an easy save by Vector out to the Red line, where Louis Friend will send it back in. Flash black with it now. Tries to send it out, but it's blocked by Sherwee. Flash with it behind his own net. <clears throat> Lightly sends it up the boards. It almost works. Caterman couldn't, or Splash couldn't get there, excuse me. Doc Emmerich back within his own zone. Sends it up the ice looking for Splash. But it'll get by him, where Louis Friend will direct it on net. Oh, and Panini. Promptly clears that into the corner where Caterman will take it up and then loses the dock at the halfway point. Nini out to play, sends the puck up to Sherwee. Sherwee with a good receive. He's on his own. He dangles once. Oh, and he can't get the shot away. He had the goalie beat. But he centers it for Caterman. Caterman with a redirect just wide. And the puck is sent out of the zone by Splash. Gets past Louis. Dock will. Get there first. If Panini doesn't get deal with this, Panini misplays it, but he bodies Doc. The net is still empty. Can they get a shot off? They can. Oh, but it's wide. That was an opportunity Knoxville would like to have back. Aderman sends the puck up, looking for Louis' friend. Louis can't get to it, and has a bad one-time roll hide. Doc with it behind his own net. Sends it up for Splash, all alone. Splash receives. He gets by Panini. The net is empty. Will he get a shot? No, he couldn't control it, but he sends the center ice for Doc, where it is played away by Sherwee, who is now on the semi-breakaway. Oh, the goalie should come out for this. Oof, not soon enough, but Sherwee misplays that. Bit of a fortunate play there for Knoxville, not converting there. And Doc with it in his own zone. He sends it up, looking for Splash. Off the boards, Splash will receive. Splash is no one. Oh, and the defense promptly shuts him down. Not a lot Knoxville can do with only two skaters on the ice right now. The puck is blocked into the Knoxville zone, where Doc will play it. Doc looking for the pass. He sends it up ice. That'll be just wide the net. And Panini with a risky clear, but... Again, no one there on Knoxville to convert that. Sherry with it behind his own net. He misplays it. Bounces off the net. He's still behind there. And he taps it to the circles where Splash is not giving up and making this very difficult for him to get out of the zone. And Splash sends it back in where Panini will clear out for Sherry. Doc intercepts the pass. Doc gets by Caterman. He's got Splash in the center. Oh, and a big block by Caterman there. Puck in the corner. All of Philadelphia's players battling for there. Doc on the half boards. Now he's going for it. Having a little bit of skate. Flash not providing a great opportunity. He's very covered. And it is cleared out by Panini. We're sure we will... Like, uh, we're sure we recovers it at half ice on a 2 1 0 breakaway. Vector out to play. Sure, we shot. Score 3 4 1. Or, I'm sorry, 4 2. Philadelphia. The face off won by Splash, but, or Doc Emmerich, but can't get anything on it. But Splash now on his own. Oh, and he mishandles it, and he can't get the shot away. 
and he will easily clear this away from the net. Doc back to play in his own zone. And now, oh, a bad misdirect from Louis' friend. Splash on his own. We convert. Shoot, scores. Splash. Bringing this game in reach. They might have a chance. 4-3, 33 seconds left. Face off. One to the right. Oh, and just... A critical body thrown by Louis' friend to tie up Splash, not letting him get the puck. But mishandles by Philadelphia sent into their own zone. Panini is out looking to dump, and he does, and that is likely the end of the pit, end of the game. Yeah. So we will finish the game 4-3, Philadelphia. And a bit of a comeback by Knoxville at the end, but not enough. <sighs> Who's up next, Nova? And here we go with two old school JSL teams, St. John versus Texas Stars. Both have been around, I want to say, since the league's conception. At least Texas has. And we are seeing a very similar Texas team. And a All right. Yeah, both these teams in their third season. The face-off won by Keller. But the puck sent into the Texas zone where Coke will get there first. Coke sends it back at the boards for Gregors. Gregors handles it to the center. He gets by one defender. Oh, he can't get by, by the second on the back check, though. But Keller comes away with it in the point. He has a spin shot wide. So Gregors pressures it. Pressures the shot. Score! And a quick goal from St. John. And a big defensive breakdown from the Texas Stars. Once again, face off one by Keller. The shot is blocked and it is now sent up to Coke. Coke misses the receive and Toodaloo will easily recapture this buck. Toodaloo with it now. He taps it up for his teammates and gets by the four checker. 
Another tap up. Oh, but a bad a misreceive from Shark and Shuyin will deal with him in his own zone. Shuyin loses the puck behind the net, but no forechecking is held from Texas, and it is easily sent out by St. John. Gotta think you want Texas to be more aggressive there, especially when the puck's being fumbled. Shark with it at the halfway mark. As the puck is blocked into the Texas zone, where Tulu will play it behind his own net. Tulu sends it out. Where? Who's in net for St. John Nova? E. Dunak. All right. Coke comes away with it in the Texas zone. He's on his own. He shoots, scores. 2-0 St. John's. Texas is not doing well getting this puck out of their own zone and has paid for it twice now in the first two minutes. Dark with the puck now. Oh, a bad shot. Sent wide. Sir Gregor's, or not Sir Gregor's, Keller will get there first looking for the center. Shark gets a stick on it and he can't get it on net. And this puck is pressured. Oh, but Shark comes away with it on the boards. He's on his own. Shoot, score. A high scoring game already. 251 left in the first. It is 2 1 St. John's. Great individual effort from Shark right there. Keller once again coming away with these face off wins, but Shu Yin is shutting down Shark from these point opportunities. Then around for Coke. Coke ta ball bounces it, but Texas will get it. Texas sends it deep into the St. John zone. St. John's players can't get the JSL pass, but Keller sends it center, looking for Shark. No one there though, and Coke comes away with it. Tulu comes up. User was moved to your channel. And the puck is sent wide of the net, where there may be a rebound. But Coke gets a stick on it, but can't convert, as it is sent out to the blue line, where Shuyin will send it back in. Coke sends the puck up the boards for Gregors. Gregors known for his good one time. Gregors shot. Save from Seal. First save of the game for either team. And Keller comes away with it at his own blue line. And Wall bounces this out for Shark. It'll land for him. Oh, and a good play by Gregors right there. The puck is sent down into the Texas zone where Tudelu will be back to play. Oh, uh, what board pass gets to Shark, but Shark doesn't have any momentum to receive it. But it's redirected on net. Oh, what an unfortunate goal. That's that probably is, the roughest goal I've ever seen, Skies. That, there, that's in contention. As uh, the puck is dropped now to Seal, Toodaloo, the veteran, picking up the puck behind his own net. Four check by Coke. Gregor is able to pick it up, and now he's got a breakaway. Atoning for their sins, and he hits the post. Oh, my word. I've been here for a minute, and already so much action. Coming live in the JSL. Toodaloo. Oh, cuts inside of his man. Has an opportunity for a shot. He gets it taken away. Now Gregor's has a chance to break. Wow, Steve. What a game. Definitely. Um, St. John jumped out to a quick 2-0 lead by the end of the first. It's looking like we're going tied as the Sir Gregor shot goes wide. Julian at the point sends it back in. Coke with it in behind the red net. Coke looking to wrap, but promptly shut down in a clumping effort from the Texas defense. Julian at the point. Julian has a shot that's going to go wide. I thought that one was a shoe in. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. As the puck is cleared up now, Shu Yin picks up the puck, taking it behind his own net. Opportunity to play it. Sir Gregor is giving him. His own teammate is sort of just tracking him. Now he's got a little bit of space and he's closed down by two, but that's the end of the period. What a game. Definitely a good high scoring period from both teams. Texas seemed to regain their footing with a bit of luck and an individual effort by a Shark. Well, uh, I, think, I think there's hmm? potential from these goalies to make it 
Um, I believe that. Oh, but the center's not there, and it's a long oh, shot wide. He blew so early. So I agree. Early. He had all the time in the world and shot way too he, soon. He was essentially on a breakaway. I'll send her to Gregor's. Gregor's will get there. Oh, oh, Gregor's misses the one time. But yeah, he was on a breakaway and shot from the red line, which is a bit of a rookie mistake, especially for someone who's been in this league for as long as Coke has. That's honestly, I expected a bit better from an ex Binghamton man. Mm hmm. Puck lightly sent into the Texas zone by Coke, where Toodaloo will take it behind his own net to gain some composure for his team. Sent out and up the boards. A bit of a clump by the forwards of Texas in the defense. But uh, Keller comes away with a shot. Oh, oh I'm sorry. God. Shark shot score. Shark just caressed that one in, lifted it high and into the corner, and the goalkeeper could do nothing but... Layla stick as it uh as it chucked in. Oh, another shot, shot on net. Will we get through? Ooh, and, and uh, he doom back with his first save of the game on a pretty good shot there. And Let's puck call sent him, up. Call him Dune. That's yeah, D we'll call him Dune. As, uh, Dune, Dune out to play, out the, to puck. play the puck. Yeah. There's it up. Coke forechecking this. Tutalu off momentum. Not something you see from him a lot. Coke in behind. An opportunity to wrap. He JSL bounces it. It's in front of the net. He's got an opportunity to spin. He sends it in. Gregor's on his forehand. The angle's tight. He sends it in. Another opportunity, oh. and he just tweaks it wide. The opportunity for Blue to take, uh, actually, to even things up there. The Sharks goal, but now they're behind. Yep, definitely a strong effort from Gregor's and Coke, but just couldn't get that finishing touch. I thought they overran it a couple times, and the opportunity mm -hmm. was going to die, but... They kept it in, and now another opportunity as he sends it into the center on his backhand. It's just oh. scooching in. Oh, oh, oh his teammate a, knocked it in. That's got to be an own goal. That's Can't an own goal. That Coke. The, I, I think the defender ran into his own goalie, and then that forced his stick to push the puck in. Sir Gregor's with a shot. Oh, and just wide. Shingen will play it on the boards off the backhand. Shingen redirects that towards the center. Where Coke will get to it. He's got Gregor's on the boards. But Coke is poorly handling the puck and loses it out to the zone zone where Shunyun clears it up the ice. Where Coke will receive, but not enough time as Toodaloo promptly clears that out. And Shunyun sends it behind his net in a cautious play with uh, Texas forecheck bearing in. Gregor's. Oh, just too high for Coke to receive there. As a uh, speed. Comes in for shooting. Coke now for checking. He gets beaten, but Gregor does well to look turn and a miscom there almost leads to Coke winning the puck. But Keller, as strong as he is, manages to keep it in, but gives it away to Sir Gregor, banging through the middle. Oh, he turned the wrong way there. He could have still had a chance. I agree. If he if he kept cutting in, I think he's past that defender and on yeah, his own. He, the problem was he turned left. He mm -hmm. lost the puck. If he had just turned right, he would have been through. As Steve, the puck in the back now. Big clear, but Shark does well to keep that in their zone. Clears it up to Keller, who could be on a breakaway now. On his forehand, takes a shot. I think it was deflected, and Sir Gregor's able to clear up the Coke now. Coke, touch for Steve. Unable to hold it, though. And Steel, uh, veteran play, comes out of his net. Pick up the puck. Force the pressure out. Yeah, both teams seem to be making some... Pretty big mistakes right now, leading to goals and just St. John's can't seem to finish these opportunities or getting in the O zone. In the O zone. In the O zone. <laughs> uh, I've seen their shots go into the atmosphere, but I'm not sure they're in the O zone yet. Uh, as oh my God, a three on zero breakaway here. Uh, <laughs> what is going on? We're he seeing some pretty up the side. Takes a shot and oh. it's just off the post. What a great shot by Steve. So unlucky to not see that go in. That, that's a stick in face. And uh, he up uh, I, I'm going to have to. That's definitely stick in face. I saw that. I don't know if it was directly responsible for the thing, but that's definitely illegal. That scroll says he'll review it. Uh, a foil play there by Steve was probably pretty cheesed that uh, his vision was being blocked. Coke is going to have a chance to bear down on goal here. Takes it around his man, takes the early shot, and a pretty simple save for Seal. 
Oh, that was say that ten times fast. Um, as he clears it out, Steve able to pick up the puck now. Steve looking since he came on the ice, probably one of the better players, possibly the best. He looked pretty decent on the puck. As yeah. Bishop closes the game is yeah. once again tied. Yeah, on his breakaway, he definitely showed a lot of composure, not trying to overdangle at with the pressure from the back check, and he got off a good shot that just barely missed the mark. But it's a clear thing. There's no such thing as overdangling it. Only if you can handle the puck. <laughs> as the faceoff comes in, Coke wins. Got an opportunity to shoot here as his man bears down on him. From a wide angle, Coke, big save by Seal there to keep it at 3-3. Stark takes it up the wide. Oh. Not saying a stick in faith, so game POC is going to have to review. But as things stand, it's essentially 4-3. Uh, did, they, did they change the score, or is it 3-3? Three, three? It's 3-3. Three, three. They didn't change okay. the score. Shark, don't do that shit. It's pathetic. It's oh! Like, <laughs> Shark doesn't care what Fat Squirrel has to say, and he launches a shot in. And now things are 4-4. Four, four. Wow. Shark... Showed fast girl what he thought of his or, um of his BO seeing and Sir no. Gregor says says fuck you shark and now it's five three. What a game. What a game we got going here. Yeah. <laughs> Things are going crazy. As a seal coming out to play the puck, my my screen just flashed there. That was weird. Shark's gonna pick this up. Get clear. Coke tips it in. Tootaloo. Puck physicsing. Physicking. Shark taking it wide. Probably should have cut inside his man. And Shark hits the post. Almost had his fourth goal of the game there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one just went over there. I, I, I think it digs the post. Maybe. I'm, I no, good. Def Shark is willing this Texas team to be competitive now. Because St. John's has easily had the better of the play through these first two for periods. Sure, for sure. And uh, all scorers are on the ice right now. None of their subs have uh, have any points. So, strongest lineup, I'd say, as Keller gets dumped, and Irway comes in. I don't know. I don't know who he is. I was just fucking yeah, it. As a, a big opportunity for a rap here. I guess he called that early because the D-man came back at a huge block coming in. I think by Tootaloo. Keep it at 4-4, four, four, or I guess 5-4 to SMB. Could have been 6. Now they've still got an opportunity. Got just wide, where Steve will collect it in his own zone. Looking for the outlet pass across to Sir Gregors. Gregors, with a bit of a uh, poor receive, gets a stick on him. I think Coke probably should have dropped there and come pick up the puck. He would have got there first. As Steve picks up now, tries to set it up, but doesn't get enough on it. And Sharks can have a chance, but he loses out. And it's 2v0. Steve can't control his momentum, so he just trips it up. Block, and almost a, a little swipe shot there by Coke. Drops it on the boards. Now on his backhand, a big shot. I think it was going wide and either flipped the post or the goalkeeper just touched it a little. And oh, I need you to talk because my tummy is filled with protein. Oh. Got it. Puck sent into the St. John zone where Steve will recover behind his own. Steve whips. Oh, and gives a bit of an opportunity to the Texas four checkers where the puck is sent out. Where Tudelu will get to it first. Tudelu with a shot on net and a big score oh from my Tudelu God. from what his a own blue shot. line. And he and Texas takes the lead five four. Two minutes left in the third. Tudelu hits the dirty long nipper and it's actually five five now because of the stick in face. Or yeah, uh, this will be played like five five. And uh, as it, since Fat Squirrel like called him out, I'm gonna assume it's probably probably the right call. As uh, Tootaloo with another chance, yep. possibly for the hat trick, sends a long one in. That's on target and just barely saved on his backhand. And Sir Gregors is going to come out for this. But a little scrum in the corner. Sir Gregors manages to get it up to Steve. Steve sends it across to Coke, but it's a bit behind him. He's going to have the awareness to get back. Tries to chip it in, but all three red players are back. It's chipped on the frame, and the goalkeeper isn't that bad, and he's able to just push it wide for Steve. Steve sends it around to Gregors. Gregor is holding onto the puck on his backhand, sends it up. Coke driving at this. Might get there. Oh, a good receive. If he can keep it in. Oh, what a save! Huge save by the goalkeeper. Just closed down the angle. Didn't move his stick very much as another shot comes in. It flashes across the sticks. What a good save by Seal to just kill off any angle that the player had. I think this Sometimes is his third. 
thir third season playing goalie for Texas at that. But... He's been a staple for, uh, I think, Toaster's side, right? Toaster's, mm -hmm. Texas's GM, Texas I Toast. I believe so, yeah. As Gregor's with a shot now, but a big block coming in against a shot that was going to slide across the ice. Now Keller has it and clears it up. Dune coming out to play this puck. Going to just tap it along up to Steve. Steve leaves it and Coke. Steve leaves it again <laughs> up to Coke and a shot coming in from the red player on his own net. There's 20 seconds left on his backhand. A shot. Oh, he could have put the game to bed. Oh, oh boy. And now Shark, if he scores this, they win. Shark. Does he have the composure? He takes himself wide. Ten seconds left. The goalkeeper comes oh, out shark. and makes a huge play. Shark, he must have been just looking down at the puck because he didn't see the goalkeeper coming up. And now a shot comes in, and that's going to be OT. Wow. What a huge, huge game there. I, I have oh. to say, Shark blew it on that one. He, he should have shot that instead of taking it wide and cutting his own angle. I mean, if he had just, he just, the problem was he didn't do anything. He just, that's, he went wide and then he just went straight at him. I mean. Yeah, yeah. It, lo it looks like he expected Dune to stay in net. And then when Dune came out to play, Shark didn't put up any opposition to Dune swiping it away from him. I'm really, uh, really impressed by Dune there to come out and play the puck. Mm -hmm. I'm going to text message here. I wonder if I'm going to be yelled at for being too loud. Okay, no, I'm good. Wow, this is going to be a big OT game right here. Dune coming out clutch at the end to save his team. I'm sure they're happy with that. As the puck bounces past Shark Gregors. Getting body from behind. Shark pushing the puck into the corner. Ugh, Steve going to have this now. And Toodaloo playing super reserve. But that's going to allow Coke to drive straight at him. And he cuts around and just as I expected. Now he's got a breakaway and a shot opportunity. He shoots oh, in a huge save by save. Seal. Absolutely massive save by Seal to keep his team in this game. I'd, I'd argue that it's a better save Ooh. than Dunes. As uh, some, some uh, miscom between the red, the red players The red there. players just put that off their own crossbar right there. <laughs> Nothing like the, the triple goalie crash. As the puck sneaks out to Gregors, but it's just too far. He does well to hold it. He's got a drop in Steve, but Shark is looking to cover that. And Coke is going to be able to pick this up now in turn. An opportunity to shoot, but just sort of shovels it in. And the goalkeeper comes out and clears. And Steve is just going to dink this up. He's going to keep going for it. He called for it, but he actually lost the puck. Now Steve has everything to do with Shark bearing down on him, much like Sharks do. But Steve is able to keep his composure. <laughs> and <laughs> Coke taking it up the wing now. Bounces it off, but that's going to go right inside to Gregor's. But it's a spinning puck. He settles it. He shoots. And a big either post or a save there. I couldn't tell. Maybe a mixture of the two. Yep. Keeps them in this game. And now it's cleared out. Keller happy to see that one leave his zone. As Steve is going to have as much time as he wants to take a long shot here. Just drive at the defense. He cuts inside. Probably should have stayed wide. Preferring to move to his backhand now. But he loses out to Shark. And this isn't going to be any good as the 50-50 Hangs in the air, but Steve able to pick it up. Rips it into the corner. Coke closing down Seal. Seal leaving it. Got two men in the middle to block the cross. Sir Gregors in the corner. Takes a long shot. Seal, I think, tipping that wide. Oh, I think that was... That looked like it hit something, either post or... It's hard, it's hard to it, tell in the JSL. You yeah. never know. As Kudalu now shooting a huge long shot, but it's just wide. Wow. Coke now. Bending it up. Keller does just enough, but... Gregors is going to have a chance to run at the defender here. Toodaloo, he's slowing himself down on his backhand. The shot goes oh, tipped the in by Siegel. And, oh, no. Oh, a huge win by St. John's to clutch it from the death of overtime. You, you, oh. ha you have to think that if that stick and face does have a goal for St. John's, that Shark cost his team the game here. I oh. No, no, yeah. no, because it was five four. It was five four. So yeah, so yeah. If it, if the, it was if they awarded goal by stick and face, then this win is St. John. But if it wasn't, but if there is no goal awarded, oh, yeah, the yeah, win yeah, is yeah. Texas. Oh no, that was. Oh, you got a feel for Seal there. As if he had just like moved his stick a little bit, it, it would have went anywhere but inside of the net. Uh, honestly, it, it was gonna hit post regardless, but it hit the inside of his stick there. He made some really good reaction yeah. saves too, so I thought he'd just double it away, but sometimes, you know, 
the puck yep. comes comes at you really slow and you don't know what to do. Yeah, you, you, you overplay it just a second too soon and then it hits the wrong side of the stick. Those poor boys, as uh, I think we move on to the RSL now. Mm hmm. Over in Don't Taze Me Bro Arena, as Master Metroid and Calgary line up to face Team Metallurgy. I don't know, I, don't, I still don't get the point of that name, as uh, I don't really care about teams that are made of metal, but uh, whatever. Eric VM of Minnesota on Calgary, or uh, pardon, Metallurgy. Don't know if he'll be starting tonight, seeing as he's in LHL. Crack says they're going to take the 10, <laughs> whatever that means. Pretty sure it's 5. But, uh, they're going to wait until warm-up goes and then take 5 as Crack pops in, actually, and fucks up the warm-up. That's going to force uh, Fatsfold to have to reset there. If Nova, is Nova Star in here? Yeah, he is. Hey, Nova. Nova, say hi to the stream. The guy who keeps everything going. Oh, they can't hear you? Okay. Well, huge shout out to Novastar who just keeps, essentially keeps the game. The league room. Because without, without streams, to, it'd almost be pointless. We wouldn't have stats. We wouldn't be able to go back and look. We'd just have goals. So, huge shout out to him. Huge shout out to everyone. If you want to be a streamer, if, if that's something that interests you, if you think you've got a sexy voice like me, or capital skis, you could just go, go ahead and just uh, let any of the BOC know. LHL or RSL or JSL. I'm not sure JSL have a real BOC. I think it's just the RSL BOC extended. As uh, Team Metallurgy flies in here, Ali Mata playing in goal. Eric VM, the defender, splash, crack, the toaster. Splash has a good shot on him. His hands are suspect. Crack is a is a beauty with his with his hands. And toaster, uh, actually the GM of Texas. So, uh, big stuff coming in here. Oh, we switch servers. Whoops. Yep, we're in DTMB now. Sir Gregor's <laughs> from last game coming in. I believe his team... Did Sir oh. Gregor's team win? Yeah, he was on blue. And this oh. is Metallurg vs. Calgary? Metallurgy versus Calgary, yes. Uh, Dr. Slugger, Master Metroid, I think, playing on defense here. Unless they're going to... No, pardon. Master Metroid and Sir Gregor's uh, Binghamton line up there. And they're going to have Dr. Slugger and Kill Pestle on offense with Super Woove and D. Crack pipe and splash on offense. Eric VM and Toaster on defense for Team Metallurgy. As a face-off win comes in for Team Metallurgy. Eric VM clears it off the post. And Dr. Slugger early doors has a shot, but it's well over the bar. That's not going to worry too much. As Crack pipe picks up the puck now. Sends it into the center. Splash going to come out and pick this up. Dinks it up to Crack, who slows himself down. Going to try to receive this on his backhand. Cuts it into the corner. But he's unable to hold on, and now Dr. Slugger's going to have a chance. Beats one man, says, Crack Pipe, I'll do you one better. Takes it around his man, who misjudges the timing of the puck, and a shot comes in and hits the post early doors here in Calgary. As they get a big opportunity there, Slugger unable to put it away. As Pylon comes in for, I think, Kill Pestle, who must be having lag issues or something. Or possibly uh, the wrong name? I don't know. Dr. Slugger fighting for the puck here. Metallurgy keeping him pinned back though. Eric VM gonna have a chance on his forehand. He whiffs, but he manages to just keep it in now. Pylon uh, does well to hold that one up and just clear it out. Toaster's playing super deep, and Kill Pestle comes back in for Pylon now. Toaster in the corner, dumps it up to crack, holds it up. A great pass across, but Splash is unable to receive. But now at a tight angle, gonna send it in. Big opportunity. Crack pipe misjudges it though, as well as the defender's tip of the stick. And now Slugger is going to have a chance to move forward. And Crack, huge play there to just get a tip on it. And it's left. And the goalkeeper is going to have to clear that out. Ali Mata does well. Go ahead, Ski. Yeah. Uh, puck sent into the what Metallurg uh, zone. Too many tags on Oli. As it is sent out by Toaster. And Gregor is in his own zone with it for Calgary. Sends it up. No one there to receive, though. Toaster with it in his own zone. Looking for the outlet pass, but blocked, and Eric sends it onto his own net. A bit of miscommunication. The puck is still right there, and the Calgary hitman just cannot get the puck in the net right there. A slugger I, wheels it in, and off the crossbar! Flash had the opportunity to clear the puck there. If that had gone in, you have to say that would have been his fault. 
Like that he was... lost the puck in a bad position. His poster tries to clear it up now. Flash yeah, that was back a... on this. Yeah, all just all around bad play from the Metal Earth team right there to not get that puck out. Ooh. Ooh. Kill Pestle puts one away, dangling from the boards and in. Definitely a defensive breakdown from Metal Earth right there. Yeah, the shot didn't look that great either. It was okay, but the defense was, yeah. there was pretty abysmal. Guys, got a feel. Already one zero up, and they had chances earlier as well. As Toaster's playing super deep now, trying to clear out the puck, but Toaster just taking too much time with it. Now the puck's gonna bounce. Ali Mata, intelligent play to just clear that one out. Oh, splash! Mishandles it though. Uh, Kilpessel with it behind the blue net. He's looking for the wrap in a big block or save from Splash slash Ali Mata. I'll call prevent this from being a two goal lead. Eric VM with time on the puck now. Sends it up to Splash. Splash looking to receive it. It's a pretty nice touch on his forehand. He's in on goal now and slams it home. And Splash makes it 1-1 with an assist from Eric VM. The what defender... a... That was a... That was a beautiful receive. He split both defenders with that one. Yeah, the defender was on his side, and I think he misjudged it. And if he had flailed his stick a little, I think he probably would have got the puck. Mm-hmm. That just looked like both defenders weren't expecting him to receive that, and honestly, Splash himself probably wasn't that sure he was going to be able to pull that off. <laughs> yeah, but definitely a miscue from the Calgary defense. Poster manages to tip it into the center as a slow shot comes in. Ali Mata just guiding that wide. Poster behind now. Lex to clear the puck all the way down to Super Wu. Sends it into the corner for Slugger, but Splash intercepts. Now the puck's in front of the net, and Splash with a second opportunity flips it in off the post. He did all that work on his own. And, uh, Super Wu, sort of to blame there. Un didn't really get enough on the puck there. I, I have to put the blame on uh, the Calgary defense there, letting Splash strip it off of him and get that close in chance. You can't be playing with it without control in front of your own net like that. I think I, I think uh, the he, they weren't playing with that. I think they just gave it up. As Dr. Slugger now in on a 2v1 situation. Oh my god, oh, Slugger, the post again. Slugger has hit the crossbar three times, and now from inside the crease, uh, question marks probably being thrown about whether Dr. Slugger can do it in the RSL, <laughs> as he's had three really good chances to put it away. It, it definitely looked like he just got in, in his own head right there. I honestly thought he was just going to glide it in. <laughs> yeah, definitely. O Oli was definitely playing the high shot. And Splash. Cracked it well to body his man up. Splash trying to dangy in, but it doesn't work out for him. They try to clear it out. Lost the puck, and Slugger probably going to get a lot of stick there because he had the opportunity to level it. And it was almost a guaranteed goal. And mm -hmm. to mess it up. That's really disappointing for me. Yeah, definitely a pretty strong effort from... Metal Lurk here, and a game that really doesn't have any significance. They're both in, they're in the second and third seed, respectively. Their playoffs are pretty safe. But really just playing for seeding, what they play each other anyways. So definitely just a pre-playoff matchup between these two. Yeah, there's a, there's a good chance they'll be playing in the playoffs. So mm -hmm. uh, this is a good, good judge of how things are going to go. And it's been pretty even so far. A lot of, honestly, I think a lot of chances have gone the way of Calgary, but just haven't been able to put them away now. A splash tries to send it in, but the defender miscues, and so does the goalie, and <laughs> unable to be controlled by splash or crack pipe, and still in their zone somehow. His players just flailing at it, and now Kill Pestle has a chance to drive a toaster one on one. He tries to just chop it past him, but it doesn't work out, and Eric VM just. Definitely a bit of luck for Supa right there in this game not being 3-1 because that was a misplay from him, his defense, and the uh, Metal Lurk forwards to not put that in. Really just been a, a huge number of mistakes this game as Flash comes flying in. He can't control it once again. And Sir Gregor's now driving up the side, doing what he did in the JSL, trying to get a point, but unable to get that one on target. Master Metroid on his backhand sends it in. It gets tipped Dr. Slugger now. Spinning. It's going to land for Kill Pestle. The defender does well to keep it in. In the corner, Kill Pestle now drives, sends it in the middle. Good pass. Oh. Dr. Slugger was leaving the zone. Sometimes 
Ooh, Dr. Slugger now with a chance. And Did he hit the crossbar I again? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that one. Gray is the crossbar. And wow, that's got to hurt. That's Slugger, I don't know what to say at this point. Like That's his third or fourth crossbar. I'm going to say lower your stick angle, mate. <laughs> As Ali Mata comes out and plays the puck here. And oh no, miscue by both defenders. A splash comes in. And a huge misjudge by Super Wu, but the puck's allowed to go in the corner. Sir Gregor stops that one from being centered. Super Wolf counting his blessings there. That splash was just a hair behind that puck. Jesus. So many mistakes coming in from both sides of the pitch here. Splash closing is down. Picks it up, but Sir Gregor was just able to corral this one in his own zone. Opportunity to clear. Kill Pestle moving up the wing. Eric VM looking to Throws it down, but he misjudges the man's movement again. And it's dropped into Slugger. Big opportunity again. Can Slugger get a point? He shoots, he scores. <laughs> hey. Slugger did it. Yay, go Slugger. I'd like to point out, he still hits the crossbar. Did he really? Did he <laughs> go bar down? He went bar down. <laughs> Slugger, 25% shot ratio. Someone signed him up. He was on an LHL team as some physics. Uh, I believe Chicago signed him once I dropped him. Wow. Who is D Ragged? Why why does the why does it say they're a streamer? Do what? Is dr drag is, is in here. I don't think he's a streamer though. He will be. Oh, he's gonna come in. Okay. For Gregor's now with the puck, sending it up to Kill Pestle. Kill gonna have an opportunity to receive here. Doesn't judge it right, and his defender does. And another miss. As Doctor Slugger, another big opportunity. And he, Slugger, what are you doing? He cuts inside instead of taking User a shot. User was on moved his to your channel. And it's just a poor effort all around. As Sir Gregor sends it up to Doctor Slugger, can't receive. Coaster now on his forehand, cutting inside. Coaster takes his touch too far. 50-50 puck flying in the air. Bill Pestle trying to receive here, sends it up, cracked, unable to receive once again. Sir Gregor's now on his forehand, opportunity to clear. Misjudges, holds his man up though, and it's a 2 beat 0 somehow. Toaster gonna get there first, sends it in, and a big opportunity to tip, but Splash can't get on it. I don't know how. I, 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 I don't know what Super was doing there. That angle was too sharp to have him doing any business of coming out right there. That was a, that was a bad play by him right there that almost cost him once again. Play. Kill Pestle, looking to hold it up behind the zone now. Looking for the wrap, and he just sends it in, and there's no defenders there to help block. It's so, so poor, as they had they had the goal lead originally, uh, Metallurgy, but now they're down one. Yeah, and, and a game where Metallurg should probably be winning, based on these chances, that um, Calgary has pulled ahead. I mean, look at look at that. They had Calgary had two players in front of the net, or pardon, Metallurgy had two players in front of the net with zero defenders on them, and they still couldn't get a goal. And they actually managed to lose the puck somehow, as a shot comes in and a big save by Superwolf. Doesn't make a hash of that one. And now Eric VM sends it back to his goalie with some slick slide plays. And Ali Mata sends it up, but goalie passes have been really poor today. Bill Pestle clears it in the corner. The toaster says no. Keeps it in their zone. But unable to reach anyone with the pass and splash. Sitting in front of the net now. Tips it and another big save by Super Wolf. But, whew, big physics there as the puck slammed into the post. And that's going to be the end of uh, regular time. The the story of this game has got to be missed chances, both from Slugger and his three crossbars and bad decision costing him four four easy goals there, and then just the Metallurg team not being able to convert on these mistakes in the Calgary zone. I mean, it's gone both ways. There's been huge mistakes on both mm -hmm. sides. I mean, that breakaway that Slugger had. Think of it. They, if he had if he had put away some of those opportunities, and he's had a lot of opportunities, it could be. You know, six, six, two. Uh, or if, if all the opportunities that have been converted in this game, I think the score is about seven, five in favor of Calgary. But that's just really showing how poorly both these teams have been playing this game so far. Exactly, exactly. This kill Pestle chips it in, but uh, Doctor Slugger was also coming for that, so there was no real point to it. As a high puck gets cleared out by Superwolf, Doctor Slugger, holding it his own zone, clears it up to Kill Pestle, cutting out. It's a stick on it, and Eric VM super off momentum, and Kill Pestle gonna have an opportunity to take a shot here from the blue line. Sends it in low, uh, look to be going to the post, but Ali Mata with a huge save there. Now Toaster gonna look to clear out, but big forecheck by Doctor Slugger. 
use it for kill pestle kill pestle driving into the center just to do some weird ass shit and drop it but just gives it away to crack who can't control the puck very well and still in their zone flash coming for this one bounces it off the boards and a tip means <laughs> that blue is going to get it it was actually just going to skitter all the way over to the goalie you know weird shot there gets saved by the goalkeeper Ooh. almost their own goal there now kill pestle in his own zone takes a long shot a dirty long ripper blocked by toaster toaster going into the 50 50 uh the puck physicsing just into the corner master metroid just gonna look to get this one out on his backhand sends it up on frame actually alimata does well to push that one wide simple save and and oof, almost the splash there he's playing real high now master metroid fighting for it loses out to splash his body but sir draggers is going to come in to help him out Clears it up same side to slugger who's going to have lots of time to receive the puck but he somehow manages to almost lose it and a big chip shot comes in but it's super wide and uh kill pestle now in the corner takes a spin shot and a huge save by alimata keep this game within one and a long shot blocked toaster behind the net now in the corner taking it up He's gonna have a long shot opportunity. Lex to chip it up to crack pipe. Crack pipe coming forward in the corner. He's got one man in the middle. Drops, sends it across. The toaster wasn't there. Now it's gonna be a race. Master Metroid versus Toaster. Toaster's gonna win out. Toaster beats his man, cuts inside, but loses out. Now Doctor Slugger and Kill Pestle are in a two v two. Doctor Slugger on his backhand is gonna take a shot, and uh, he was going over, but Ali Mata still wins it. And, and oh, Doctor Slugger. Ooh. Ooh. Dr. Slugger almost had a chance there, but the defense, combined with the goalie, did well to just push it uh, off the goal line. And now Sir Gregor is taking it behind his own net. Sends it up, same side. Master Metroid backskating. Gonna look to receive. Does so. Takes a shot. Nothing comes of it. Except for Dr. Slugger winning it in their zone. And sends it in from a super tight angle. I believe that was saved. Sir Gregor was save. holding it. Still keeping it in. Huge pressure here. But the shot uh, didn't really have much to it, and Slugger's too off momentum to receive that. Or look at what St. John's doing on their breakout. Like, as soon as one of their defenders even touches the puck, Splash and Crack are gone and are taking them pretty, themselves pretty much out of the play, preventing any sort of breakout other than a dump here. Like, oh. And Slugger and Kill Pestle are two of the very good four checkers in this league right now. And they are just <laughs> Welcome eating. Welcome to the lower leagues. Yeah. As, uh, wow, we're already one minute left in the third period, so if uh, they can't get a goal here soon, things are going to be bad. As the Toaster now picking this up, keeps it in. Flash going to get there first. It's Oh, Toaster could have pushed in front of the net there. Crack going to pick this up, maybe look for a rap god. Super Wolf comes out to play the puck, but he loses it. And now there's a scrum in the corner. Eric VM almost gets a hand on it and cleared out. Kill Pestle now versus Toaster. Kill Pestle doesn't control his momentum well, and Toaster just chips it up. Crack pipe holding now. Loses out and now Kill Pestle with 40 seconds left just picks it up and Metroid <laughs> playing a bit of offense here. Probably just gonna look to drop this, earn a little time, and now Dr. Slugger on his forehand shoots it in. Crack pipe with 30 seconds left. Is he gonna take it all the way? Probably not. He's probably gonna ooh, a big body there and a huge play by Master Metroid to keep that in their zone. And now Dr. Slugger could put this to bed. Eats one man. Rips it in their zone and a huge oh. goal by Kill Pestle. That was a beautiful pass from Slugger right there. And that's the game. Yeah, it looks like he, he overdangied himself a little, and but he still managed to uh, slide the puck in on his backhand. Mm -hmm. uh, reverse spin shit. Bit, bit of a behind the back play. Yeah. Yeah, he, put, he, turns. he, he dangled it from <laughs> behind himself and. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll give him credit. He meant to do that. But. Yeah, cal calculated plays as a uh, Calgary. Look to get the better of this game, and you gotta say they did look a bit of the better team, just based purely on quality of play. Whereas uh, Team Metallurgy just looked to dump the puck out. Okay, I'm gonna end the stream here, so Drag can take over. Hello, Drag. Drag's in here, right?